Namaste to all creators around the world. Um, today we are doing a meditation, a breathing practice with a particular asana to actually help get rid of anxiety and stress. So first of all, before we do the practice together, it's important to know when it comes to stress building, a lot of our physical body to how we hold stress in the brain, actually everything is connected. So actually from the legs upwards to the to the stomach area. Actually, this is what we call the stress belt, is also where the energy center is. So sometimes we will find, and this is very interesting because sometimes we will find that the bottom part of the stomach, that the, the belly fat or the, the weight there is hard to lose. Actually, that is what we call also stress fat. So it's an interesting thing. Once stress is cleared, we'll find actually we can actually uh, possibly lose weight at the same time. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to quickly get into it. What you do is you get into, okay, we call this Rudrasan. So you go onto your knees, okay, and then when you go onto your knees, what you do is your big toes will be touching on the backside, and then your heels will be on the outside, okay? So big toes are touching, heels are on the outside. So my heels are here right now. So what we do, our knees are together, knees are down, okay? And our palms are straight, our arms are straight and they're out, okay? Your back is straight also, that's very important. So for some people already, you will be probably feeling some pressures that are happening here. So some will find it extremely painful, difficult to actually sit straight. If that is the case, then just obviously make your arrangement, don't overstress it. But if you do feel pressures here, that is normal. But if it's in pain, then you need to give it some rest and take it easy bit by bit, okay? So what's happening here and why you feel this pressure, okay? For, for me, for example, because we practice this pretty much every day, then there's no pressure happening. It doesn't feel, right? And if the pressure is happening, it's just allowing the energies just to flow right now. In actual fact, stress is not just held in brain like we think it is. That's why a lot of people think, okay, just clear the brain, stop thinking, and then we get rid of anxiety or stress. But actually it's held within the whole physical body. These are our energy points. So if you sit comfortably like this, okay, actually sitting for long periods is good. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes is good, okay? Then our palms come straight out, okay? There's a reason behind how the energy is flowing right now in this triangle shape, okay? Back is nice and straight, so weight is on the back of the feet, okay? And then we're gonna do a breathing method. And this breath work is going to be focusing on abdominal, right? And we call Kapalpati. And what means, um, what Kapalpati means? It means we are, um, this breath work is we are focusing on the breath out and not the breath in. So you're probably thinking, how do you breathe out without breathing in? Actually, breath in is natural. So it looks, it will look a little bit like this. So notice that all the focus is in the stomach here. What we are doing, we are applying this pressure and pumping this, this area here, which is getting rid of, it's like kind of like hammering out the stress belt that's happening here. And while you're doing this, it's very important, no thinking. Instead of saying, oh, how do I think about nothing? How about you just focus on breath alone, getting rid of all the unwanted energies. So palms are out and then close your eyes and we're gonna do this together, right? Inhale and begin. Just keep going, keep that breath going. Now I know for some of you, it'll seem very, very intense because you're not used to this type of breathing. Just keep it going, stay, keep your focus there. If you feel the pressures on the legs, then just allow them to free up, okay? While you're breathing, focus purely on breath, no other thought, and keep going. And at every breath, make sure that the stomach area is expanding and contracting. Make sure that the muscles are tightening there. Use your core energy, your core power to keep 
opening up the, that energy source, that energy center to free up those energies, the blockages that are there holding that stress belt. So keep doing that, keep pushing. Just a little bit more, keep going, keep going, okay? If you feel an interesting feeling towards the stomach that is normal, that's just because now the energies are flowing before it was stuck. Now you're feeling, hey, something's moving, maybe some stress in different places, some pressure in different places, just keep going, keep pushing. Now, slowly take a deep inhale. Slow exhale. Again, inhale. Slow exhale. Now, as you continue to do this slow inhale and slow exhale, what I'd like you to do is just to focus on every time you inhale through the nose, it's a deep inhale, right? Continue to breathe. So as you are continuing to do this deep breathing, every breath in, feel through the nose, this cool air, this white cleansing, cool energy, focus on that coming into the system. And when it comes into the system, feel this cool air traveling down the chest into the stomach. It's cool energy and it's cleansing. Then on every breath out, feel the hot air, the warm air coming out. Notice the difference in the qualities of air. This is actually allowing all the toxins, allowing all the stress, allowing all the anxiety, allowing all the unwanted energies just to be released out of the system. Keep visualizing, keep focusing while we continue with these deep breaths. And now what I'd like you to do is now to bring your breath, relax the body, relax the shoulders, just roll the shoulders. Now maybe just bring yourself back into Sukhasan, okay, into happy pose right so just sit roll your shoulders relax the body now then bring yourself gently into your normal breathing so it doesn't need to be so deep just bring yourself back into this slowly bring yourself back into this physical reality just breathe and breathe out the mouth relax the body now relax the spine, move the body, relax the shoulders, roll the shoulders, relax the body. So you're bringing these spiritual energies, these spiritual healing powers into this physical form. So you're now you're allowing to all these energies, these new energies just to channelize through the body, through the head, through the mind, the cleansing. Just breathe and bring yourself back. Now what I'd like you to do is to take your palms, bring them together, rub them together in front of you. Keep your eyes closed, rub them in front of you. Create this friction, create this heat, create this energy. And slowly place your palms over your eyes. Activate your energies, activate your senses, bring yourself back here. Now slowly place your palms over your ears. Activate the rest of your senses. Bring your palms on the back of your neck, which sends healing on another stress belt, which is usually on the back of our neck, our shoulders. Just place your palms there. Send in those healing energies. Feel the cool energies traveling in on the healing. Just roll your neck back and bring it forward. And slowly bring your palms down the sides of your neck until they meet into prayer, into namaste. At the heart chakra, thumbs are just gently touching the heart chakra. In pranam. 
and slowly tilt the head down, look down at the palms, and slowly, gently open the eyes. So this method should be practiced daily. In fact, whether you are going through anxiety or stress, or maybe it's just to keep the mind clear, this is a very good daily practice to actually have. You can, once you get become more comfortable in Vudrasana, when we are sat upwards, then you can make it a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, you can make it a little bit longer in this position. It's very good for allowing the energies to flow. One thing with the breath work to note for is those um, of you who are female, maybe if you're going through um, that time of the month, then maybe um, don't do too heavy breathing on this um, and stay away from this because it might affect the way the blood um, works as well. So maybe keep off it for those, those periods. Um, aside from that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, breath work. It's very powerful. And in fact, actually, those of you who want to lose weight, if you did that, now you can test it. If you did actually just that breathing method, 10 minutes a day, right? You do it for the next, for one month, every single day, 10 minutes a day. And then see what happens to your weight level. A lot of people, they lose kilograms in a month just by doing breath work, right? So you can give that a try too. If you enjoyed the video, got anything out of it, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below, let us know um, your experience of it. How did you guys find it? Was it easy? Were you feeling aches and pains or what was happening? Um, also let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now guys, namaste.